Hello everyone. So next we can give a try to the new Node.js skill certification. So let's do this. It should have I think two questions. So here I can see two questions which talks about. Okay, let's see what are those questions. So, so this is a Node.js intermediate skill certification test and we are going to attempt it so we will see most probably there should be apis sqlize in memory apis that's what i remember from the last i did this maybe they have changed the questions not just product publish api and then authorization middleware so these are the two simple questions i think we need to talk about so let's first work on uh, node.js middleware so what it contains what it talks about let's try to read it so your company is launching a task manager app soon and team has already created express app these routes and we need to write an authorization middleware to provide access to the some routes based on the role of a user okay create a middleware.js module the module default exports a middleware function you need to part x you need to parse x role that will give us the role <coughs> and we already have that contains the role of the the user that like and we already have this roles.txt that gives us permission okay admin can run create and get by id on the task records task apis okay this is clear now this is the property from where we will get the role scopes is an object containing key value pair so this is the scope name okay this is looks like clear so i will take a look on to the text file first roles.txt okay role admin scopes are like task create delete role customer scope is inside task it has a gate by id so this is a simple middleware function we need to write and we just need in the middleware function we need to get these values create get by id and the role if the role is admin he can do create and get by id on the tasks tasks is a scope right so that we need to do inside this middleware function so it should be a simple uh, middleware function which we are writing so here let's say we need to read the file this is the roles path and we need to determine if uh, this user can access this or not okay so what we really need to do is this is our function right first of all we need to get the role once role equal to we will just do what uh, our description is talking about it contains headers so from headers uh, what is the header name x role from that we are there we will get the role if role is being passed what we need to do we need to read the file so here we will do fs dot uh, read file and it takes callback right and there is already a file path there role file and we need to pass utf8 this is the encoding and then there is a callback error and data okay we read the file here if error is there that means we got a trouble in reading the file we will just say response dot status 403 we don't know the reason so we'll just say dot json empty object if we are able to read the file then what we need to do is we need to extract the data from the file so how we are going to read the file so there is a data which we are receiving from the file so here it is taking scope as an input and what is the example need to see what is the scope okay this is the scope right you are passing task dot create task dot get by id so we can split the scope so here we are splitting this into the local scope an action so we can just scope dot split dot split based on what based on dot because this is a scope so example scope is something like this tasks dot create right so task is the local scope and create is the action and now we need to parse this json object parse this data which is coming from the file that is important task so i will just do json.parse because that is the file you are reading and that is json object so we need to first convert data.toString because 
here i think i also did the mistake data dot to string utf8 this is the encoding you need to do again utf8 dot replace i remember this doing this to fix it otherwise i, mean, I know that you are reading a file so this is not the only way you can parse the json object parse and extract the json object from the text file because this is first we are doing and uh, converting into two string and then replacing these special characters into this so we will get we will be able to see the json object now what we need to see is you are allowed to access this api route or not so that we will be doing by calling another function check role there we will pass this mapper object and local scope which is so task is local scope and create is the action okay local scope and then we are passing action and we are passing the rule based on three these three parameters we will decide that you can access this or not so here we can create this function this is really fun doing this so here it's a check rule which takes mapper object local scope and action and rule now there are multiple scenarios because role will be there that is for sure let i of mapper so what we are going to get inside a mapper this is json object we already have right role this is json object so this is the mapper object which you will receive here role and the scope property so here if we will check inside this if the role which we are getting is same as i dot role because this mapper object is the same as this right so i'm checking is i dot role is admin same as the role i'm passing that means you are good we can just try to extract the scope so here i will try to get the scope from this object scopes it's i think scopes so I destructured the scope property so it contains something like this this JSON object right and here I will check if scopes of local scope okay I scopes contains the tasks right and what is my local scope this is my local scope local scope is tasks and action is create so you need to decode it something like this now we need to check okay local scope property exists or not scope local scopes if that property exists then we need to check okay th i'm talking about this property scope of local scopes means i got this array object here so now i need to check okay inside this local scope inside this array we have that value or not local uh, okay first of all this very value is already there i would need to just check the includes property dot includes action or not so this is action is you are passing create let's say okay so based on this if action is there or not because this is the scope you are passing in this middleware function which is action dot create so action is create local scope is tasks so inside the scopes we got the local scopes object which is create and this array i mean this is the scopes inside that i got the local scopes this just this particular array i mean the variable namings can be better and then i'm just checking this array and that's it if this matches then we are good otherwise i will just do return false i think this should work this is how i was doing it so here in this if is allowed we need to check right this is a middleware if is allowed that means we are good this is how we write a middleware next otherwise you are not allowed so i will just do response dot status 403 dot json and at the end if the role is not being passed this is else part if role is not there then also i will just say response dot status 403 json object no rules has been supplied okay 
I think I will try to zoom it and try to explain it now. So this is what we are doing. If allowed, that means you can just pass the middleware, otherwise response dot status. If role is not even being passed, then 403. I will try to run the tests. So now just zoom it in again. It should be running the tests. Okay, so express authorization middleway non protected routes. There is one failing. And why is that failing? Okay, should not require auth headers for protected one failing. Which one is failing? Should send 403 if the actual header is not present. That's fine. There is another error here. Which one is failing? 35 line 35 what is the test case so this one get task response would equals to 200 so if everything is good then it should be happy path expected 400 to be equal to 200 35 so what uh, expected is 404 to 2 equals to 200 okay tasks do we have these route added here uh, like do we need to add these tasks api routes let's see the routes here already there is a middleware task dot get by id so the api path is tasks get okay so that is tasks get okay there is no api such api right tasks get and we are returning 200 it should be is it registered here express router task router it is there then what is the problem let's see Roles.txt tasks dot create. Okay, 403. This is passed. Then let me check this. Okay, the issue was we need to add this uh, particular route also that was missing. Get all. Okay, task controller dot get all. This function is simply is going to return you all the tasks that is already defined here okay now all the tests are passing i mean it should return 200 why 404 right this exists now we can try submit this and try to do the first question pushing code to the server okay solve this this is product publish api okay node.js product publish api create a new product uh, okay let's first read this question what it is talking about here is the example of product json object id name price mrp create a new product expect the json object create a new product should always return with is published property set to false okay so you are creating product and then you are publishing them by id so get product patch product by id and there are some criterias in which uh, you will be able to publish a product delete put product by id so i'm leaving this uh, to you guys it should be very simple let's see what we are doing here is here we are creating the product so it should be just a simple post api it's already using sqlize create right so if i talk about uh, just give you the guidelines like how you are going to write these uh, apis here this is our router okay so here we can this is the router product.js here we can uh, create our apis what we need to do in a simple is definition of uh, express router dot post all these methods we can create right uh, post is for forward class and here we already have a controller controller dot here we will define the methods like create product 
and we will define this create product inside our controller similarly i will keep adding these methods this is post this is similarly we have get get all the products so i will just change the method name to get all products similarly here i have a get by id pass the id as a path param you can see patch get products similarly we have get by id and whatever the methods you need you just create that get product by id so you can create this method like this get product by id so post get and then we can have a put controller dot update product and this should also be by id and then delete that is also by id i think we don't need to do anything with the delete delete put request to this the response code is 405 because we are not allowing so we'll just return simply uh, not allowed right 405 so we can just call the one method only update product delete and put and then we will just define these classes inside our controller okay so we will write a class oh, i am not able to write so i went inside this and trying to write class product controller and uh, at the end what you can do is a module dot export new product controller this is a class and you, here you are going to define all the methods like a sync create product so i will just talk about this you can create all the product so this is create product what we need to do here is async create product product model we already have that is product model let's replace it with the product model then similarly we have get all products i think there are some conditions while fetching it get all products should give us response array of all the products ordered by ids in increasing order so you need to do order by id right so here it's all about sqlize how we are doing it we are using product model dot find all increasing the length plus one and doing it similarly there is a update product by id that should give you 405 right that is not allowed and then get product by id should give you the product by id you are getting that request params product model dot find one id not found then this is only about the patch patch is little complicated here we have conditions that you need to deal with this like what all criteria are there and similarly get put product so this is how you need to just write your controller and submit it that's it so this is a product model this is a product route you are connecting all the methods to the controller and you submit it so this is how this is the only approach you need to finish it this is the the homework you can say but rest all the other questions and aspect i already covered like the rest api intermediate node.js intermediate react.js intermediate we don't have so i'm not covering that otherwise uh, i have covered most of these uh, certification skill certification examples so you can get uh, learning from these and try to do hands-on by yourself thanks all that's all we have in this playlist i will cover some advanced stuff about the node.js interviews in the later videos